Hey folks, I'm Charles Neal. Um, you know, to get a perfect finish, there's a lot of variables. And there's a lot of things that come into play. And obviously, proper wood prep is number one. But even with that, you've got to understand working your finish. You know, unfortunately, the commercial you see on TV where the brush goes across the piece of wood and it says, you know, making wood beautiful, it's not that simple. Wish it was. Let's take a look at a very important factor. You know, no matter how smooth you get your wood, the minute anything liquid, particularly water, hits it, the grain, the fiber in it wants to raise up. And when it does, you get a rough feeling surface. And you can see this little piece of poplar that I just wiped a little bit of water on. You know, this is a piece of, this is just a piece we used in one of our finishing classes. And this side right here has just got a water-based style. And it was sanded, it, grain was pre-raised and this dye put on. But still, not as bad, but obviously. But I've still got a little pre-grain, I mean a little raised grain on here. Because just like this where you've got just nothing on here but dye, there's nothing. You get on here and you start sanding much of anything, particularly on a corner and edge, you go take your color off. So unless it's really severe, we don't bother with it. We don't want to disturb our color. But if you are, take a super fine sandpaper. And when you wipe it, again, wipe it. Don't sand it. Just, and I mean, it's almost just nothing. And it'll knock a lot of it off. But you're still going to feel it's not going to be, you know, like glass. This is where you have to work the finish. Now this side of this piece of wood has got one coat of an oil finish on it. But one coat is that's very, very thin. And not as bad, but it's got a little bit of fuzzies to it, a little dust in it. It's not really dust, it's predominantly that raised grain. A very quick, light white sand. This is a piece of 600. And just a, just a little quick wipe. They're gone. They come right off. But you know, you can't sand something unless there's something there to sand. So in your first coat, particularly, when you've got an oil-based finish, and particularly if you're wiping it on, those films are very, very thin. So again, you've got to go super easy. You've got to build that finish up a little bit. Now I want to interject something here. You know, in order for you to scuff sand something and have it do a good job, it has to be dry. The way you're going to know it's dry is when you sand it, you're going to get a white dust. Most finishes shrink as they dry. And there's a difference in dry and cured. Particularly, now, a lot of your post-catalyzed finishes, like conversion varnishes and things, that have a catalyst added to it, these things are chemically cured. So they do it, they cure much faster. Water-based finishes, they don't shrink back so much. The reason is, most of your solvent-based finishes, again, lockers, oils, shellacs, they can be redissolved by their medium, meaning lacquer, lacquer thinner, shellac, alcohol. So what happens is, if you get, when you do that mid-coat sanding and, you, and you've now got it super smooth, you've still got some grain there. And when you put another coat of finish on it, it softens that coat of finish that's under it, and it kind of swells all back up, and you know, there you are. So again, letting it dry the best you can, particularly 
for the first coat or two it makes a difference, a big difference. You know, if you're doing a hand applied oil finish, again, it's so thin when you're putting it on. Uh, you know, it's not uncommon if you're doing that and you really want a nice glass smooth surface to have to do four, five, even six coats. Now, a film finish, again, if you're spraying a lacquer, a water-based finish, these are much heavier. These are, and they're a much quicker build. So, if you're sanding an oil finish, the next coat of finish has to be able to fill those scratches. That said, that's where you want to progressively go to finer and finer paper. You know, if I'm doing an oil finish and by the time I'm to my fourth or fifth coat, I'm using 1500 grit. The finest thing I can use to ensure that that finish is going to fill that scratch. If I'm doing a film finish, typically my go-to is 320. Because that film finish being heavier, it's going to fill that 320 scratch without an issue. We have on here on YouTube, we have several finishing videos, numerous actually, but there's three and the term is trace coating. And I'm going to encourage you to watch these. In the onset of this video, I told you that surface prep is the number one key. And sanding or scraping really gives people a lot of issues. And if you will watch those three videos, you will find a technique that we've been using forever and we teach in our finishing classes and whatever and it will make your sanding much easier much more effective much more efficient and it and just like something like this piece of tiger maple we're going to teach you how to really make it jump Again, it's called trace coating. There's three of them. Check it out. I think you'll be happy you did. I'm Charles Neal. I'll catch you later.